Are people mumbling a little bit more than they used to? When you go to restaurants or large group events, do you feel like it's a little bit harder to hear? Every year we get a physical, we get our eyes checked, we go and see our dentist, but what about getting your ears checked? It's time to show your ears some love. Join us as we walk through what a hearing check should look like, and then you'll know exactly what to expect for your next visit. When you first get to your visit, the first thing you want to make sure that your hearing professional does is check your ears for wax. If we can't see the eardrum, that means you have a buildup of wax that could be causing your hearing difficulties. If we can remove the wax, it's a quick and easy solution for the hearing troubles that you may be having. When most people think of a hearing test, they think that a hearing test is just looking for the sounds that they can hear. What can we hear versus what we can't hear? In fact, a thorough hearing test is looking at the auditory system as a whole. We want to see what sounds do we hear well, what sounds do we not, but more importantly, we also want to see how well are we understanding speech. The graph that you see here is called an audiogram. Across the top, we have 250 hertz all the way out to 8,000 hertz. On the left side of the audiogram, you see that we have negative 10 decibels all the way down to 120 decibels. The graph that you see here, the audiogram, this is what is used to graph your hearing. This is your visual representation. Anything at the 25 line or above across all of the different pitches is what we consider the range of normal hearing sensitivity. So when you're getting your hearing tested and you're asked to respond to a sound that you just barely hear, this is where we make a mark anytime we receive your response. So when you barely hear the tone in your right ear, you can see we have the red circles and the red line, that's your right ear. The left ear is gonna be the blue line or the blue X's. Like we said, anything at that 25 line and above is considered the range for normal hearing. When we get out past 2000 Hertz on this particular audiogram, you can see that beyond 25 decibels, we see responses at 35 decibels in the left ear all the way down to 45 and in the right ear, again the red line, all the way down to 65. This indicates that this particular patient has what we would call a high frequency sensory neural hearing loss. Most patients with a hearing loss like this would say, I can hear people talking, but I just don't quite understand what they're saying. It sounds like everyone is mumbling. And that's because at our 250 hertz through, th to, through 2000 hertz, we have normal sensitivity. But again, we have that high frequency sensory neural hearing loss here. This is where we would begin to talk about assistance through hearing devices and different technology in order to bring that clarity back. So overall, this is what your hearing test looks like and what we, how it's represented on the audiogram. Depending on the results of your hearing test and your symptoms, some additional testing may be required. That's gonna give us a complete picture of your auditory system as a whole. Because remember, quality hearing care is individualized for each patient. So what are you waiting for? It's time to schedule your visit. It's quick, it's easy. Give us a call at Allison Audiology and Hearing Aid Center today. We look forward to seeing you. Music